Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with, oh my, with Angel Souls, and I drop the deck a lot. Hi, welcome. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Always check out the description box because I will keep you posted on what lives that you can join. Okay, so see if I can get a good shuffle going here and get a message for us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Life review. This keeps coming out. This keeps coming out. It comes out in personal readings a lot too. Archangel Jeremiah, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. The warning siren is going out saying, change it, change it, change it, change your idea of things. If you think you've got life right by only thinking of yourself or, you know, trying to be part of the popular crowd. Be careful. The person who is like popular is usually the master manipulator. Uh, and some of you are going to be sitting there going, I, as a popular Leo, okay, I do not. Yeah, you do. Lion. Who are you talking to? I'm a Scorpio girl over here. <laughs> careful, okay? <laughs> know who you're talking to. But this life review thing is saying, you know, if you are someone who's constantly trying to keep people in their place or constantly making people believe certain things about themselves to make them dependent on you, okay, you know, that's just disgusting and let's not do it anymore. But there are also things with life review where it might be like, where have I held myself up because I'm afraid? Or where have I not allowed myself to enjoy or make time for things that I enjoy because I think I owe my boss this extra report, which isn't even needed until next week, but I better stay late. And by the time I do that and commute home, I'm exhausted. Therefore, I don't play my music that I wanted to play or I don't make the things that I wanted to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is definitely going, okay, where, I've said it before, I'll say it again, where's the energy leaking out? Where is the where's the tear in your energetic field where that's popping out so that someone can just feel important just to feel like they have control over you this could be in love partnership as well or uh, let me give you another little signal just from personal experience uh, from cluster b types again they love to be in control so they will not answer your text messages but you have better answer theirs uh, they will wait until the last minute to change the time and change the place of where you were supposed to meet. More often than not, you won't even find this out until you reach out to them to confirm. Uh, they will always put their needs above yours, obviously. And they'll always have a sob story. Uh, and this one's a sad one that I don't feel like enough people talk about. I was friends with a covert narcissist who used her autistic son to get special treatment. I'm not kidding. Um, all the while talking about what a burden he was. I had to be careful backing away from that friendship because I, I thought she was very dangerous. Honestly, I thought she was just, I feel so bad. She does. She's not bad to her kid. She's, she's good to him. Um, and the dad is really wonderful with him and everything. But just when he wasn't around, she would, um, complain about him and, you know, try to, and she was only doing it to get attention from other people or, you know, another sign of narcissism, would be any parent who uses their children or their sort of parental status to get preferential treatment. Uh, or, you know, I should be allowed to go first. I had this in New York. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll use this as an example. Uh, we had a shared laundry room in my apartment building in New York City. And I came down and I'm putting my stuff into a washing machine. And this woman comes down. She goes, ah, it was the last one. And I just kind of like looked at her and she goes, okay, I need this one. And she kind of shoved her way in front of me. She goes, I have a baby upstairs in the apartment. You know, basically let me get my laundry done because I have a baby. And I just looked at her and I was like, you left your baby alone in the apartment in New York City? You have candles burning too? What you doing? And I looked at her. And I come from the single woman standpoint where you're always shuffled around a plane to accommodate people. You're always supposed to go last because I have a family. Um, you know, you're supposed to give up your vacation time that you scheduled in advance at a workplace because someone decided they want to take a last minute trip with their family. 
you know, all that kind of stuff. And this was one of the first times that I didn't, didn't let somebody do that to me. And I said, well, I, I would recommend you go back up and get your child for one. Uh, and you can try back in an hour. <laughs> That's how it's going to go. Now, mommies are going to have some kickback on this. Be like, well, baby was probably sleeping. She only got like a couple minutes to get her laundry done. I get that, but she was a real bee about it. Be a decent human. Be a decent human and people will work with you. But yeah, this is, these are all the kinds of things. And even that, we get so brainwashed. Me saying that is going to be so controversial. People are going to lose their minds over this. But stop and think about what I'm really saying here. You know, stop, <laughs> stop using your children like that. Again, if, if she had come down and been like, oh, I'm so sorry, I, I have this situation. Do you mind if I take that? I probably would have let her use the machine. But she just came in with like this entitlement. Like, oh, you can't tell her nothing. <laughs> Different thing. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I already got myself in trouble with this one, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.